Uh, oh, it felt like that yesterday. It did. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Right. And speaking of activewear and yesterday, mm-hmm. first of all, I want to just sh- give a huge shout out to you. <laughs> that um, you're going to say I'm going to just shit. <laughs> I'm just going to, um, nope. Okay. Rather a shout out. Thank no, you. I want to give a shout out to you, of course, and all of our lovely friends and my mm-hmm. family who came to support. Um, yesterday, I yes. did a really cool audition for Sports Radio 104.3 The Fam. Yes, you did. Yes, I did. It was awesome. Thank you very much, girl. Yes. Thank you, studio audience. Yes. Yes. They Thanks were there, to too. Honest. They yeah. were there. Yes. Come through. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, it was fun. I got to um, do a little co-hosting. I had a three-minute segment with the morning uh, show host, Mike Evans. Yes. Which was really lovely. Mm-hmm. It was super nice. How, how did it go? How do you think it went overall? I thought it was hilarious. So you did a hilarious spin on it. You brought some, you brought some moxie to it. That's right. Yes, I, yes. Yeah, I brought a little box. And, yes. And those were filled with just miniature versions of balls. Right. You threw out your football. I did. I, I reclaimed. You reclaiming did. my time. Reclaiming, reclaiming my, my time. time. My yeah, football. Was cool. And so he put his hands in and had to guess which. Um, <laughs> touch my balls. Touch my balls. Yeah, the game yeah. was called Grab My Balls. Yes. And yeah, I had him grab my balls. And it was a really good time. It um, was. It was awesome but what was a bummer about it yesterday is you know i only had that three minute segment and i didn't get to talk about too much the the topic i want to talk about exactly uh, and we're not going to get into it too hardcore this evening mm-hmm. but um it was definitely um those of you who live in denver know the um denver broncos are um kind of riddled in controversy right now yes, yes not only yes. with um ownership and the trust and all that right. fun we stuff have a lot of shit going on too because yeah. currently our stadium doesn't really have a name no it doesn't no, right it it's just doesn't. it's here <laughs> Yeah, and then we have a trust running the Broncos from um, mm-hmm. um, due to Pat Bowen's, of course, Alzheimer's. Yes, um, and that's been controversy. Yes, the uh, OTAs, the the training camps have been drama because some people have been showing up to the voluntary ones, right. some haven't. It's like let people live, right? And especially since um, with such a bad season last year, yeah, especially girl. coming off of like a Super Bowl win the previous season too, right? Oh, yeah, we've been we've been mm-hmm. out, you know. But anyways, like we're expected to do better. One hundred percent. Even in our bad seasons, we've done better than what we did last season. So. No, you're exactly right. And so the talk of the town um, for the last couple of weeks has been, you know, that Broncos edge rusher Shane Ray. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, he um, he's been sidelined now. I think they're going to say for a minimum of three months for his fourth wrist surgery right this is so Girl, crazy it's, it's nuts yeah so he has to undergo a cleanup procedure um related to complications from the initial surgery he had yes um all done um because the job didn't get done th- the first time correctly uh, correctly exactly and right. it was all um and, and no tea no shade um but this was um the broncos did not do their proper research in my opinion exactly they, they didn't like, fix it they used their doctors mm-hmm. shane ray being a rookie so they did not renew him for his fifth years right so um they decided to decline the fifth year option for the rookie's contract right uh, which means this is going to be highly likely that this is ray's last season with the broncos right which is crazy that's it's so they, they he, he comes back early does practices comes back early into the season of course is a great player mm-hmm. does not get renewed for year five has a effed up wrist mm-hmm it's a hot mess, girl. Right. And I mean, I think the point, because we kind of talked about this too, like getting a second opinion. You really can't get a second opinion when it's like the team doctor. Like they should have gotten yeah. a second opinion. It's just. As a rookie, fo- you're yeah. going to go against the team? I right. Mean, that's huge. Exactly. But football aside, like it's just common knowledge. Get a second opinion. Always. Right. And, that, and that's a good note for everyone. I mean, if you ever are have any sort of injuries, yeah, get your second. Hell, get a third opinion. Like I. Yes. I, um, my dad had some like issues where he had to like get a pin i mean mm-hmm. not like terrible my dad's fine my dad's doing great he's mm-hmm. very healthy um but you know he he does his homework you know yeah. what i mean so you got to make sure you're doing the right and making sure you're getting the right information so you're, you're exactly not freaking right. people out so. and, and something similar happened too like late um uh, <laughs> <laughs> i just realized um, i did it she's slamming the table y'all um <laughs> yeah no in late 2000s so like uh, the 2007 off season mm-hmm. so we had a player um we tried to trade al wilson to the new york giants okay so he did a physical and he failed it Due to a botched neck surgery, oh? which ultimately ended his career. That's that's <laughs> fucked up. It's really messed up, right. and so that's why it's so important to to get those second opinions, mm-hmm. figure out what you're going to do. Right. Um, but you know, I, you know, listen, I'm, I know it's business, mm-hmm. business, business right. time. But they did him dirty, girl. Right. Well, here's the thing with that neck injury too. I mean, like, I want to see. I would like to see this doctor's history. Not, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, if maybe they need to look at a different doctor. I don't know. Yeah, and I said part of this in the interview. But when you get in a car accident, mm-hmm. do you use the insurance providers? Hell no. Hell no. You you Never. go get your own estimate because you know that's going to be cheap as hell. Right. Get it done. Mm-hmm. You get your own estimate. Just make sure that it's right. It's good quality, good dollar amount, all that fun exactly. stuff. Exactly. And not and for um, work. Work Ben's comp. Yeah. I had to do that because I had the syllables. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, make sure they're going to tell you you have to go to a certain doctor. You can Absolutely. do that, but go mm-hmm. to your doctor as well, too, just to get 
back up. Yeah, girl. Back up. I mean, because what are you going to do without a, a, a good wrist? So, right. So my, my heart kind of breaks for Shane Ray, to be right. honest with you. Well, my heart breaks with Bronco price tickets. Yeah, Here's me too. Here's the thing. We had a shitty season last mm-hmm. year. Why are the tickets so darn high? I do not want to spend over $200 for nosebleed seats. I have a fear of heights. Broncos, I love you, but I love watching you on the TV versus those <laughs> no split suits. I'm crazy. sorry. That's right. Right. Shoot. No, so so we definitely wanted to hit on that topic because um, mm-hmm. you know I really didn't have much time. You didn't. That's um, okay. so you know I might I might even clip this little bit and send it over to one hundred four three like, the fan Hello. and say, hey y'all, look, right. we talk Shane Ray. This is what I want to talk about. This is it. But I'm really I'm hoping for some good vibes that I get into the top ten. That'd be and, awesome. Um, and then move on from there. Yes. So. Yes. But thank you again, everyone. Yes. Huge shout out. Mm-hmm. Um, I got to give a shout out, of course. Um, to Jeanette, um, Madison, Ashley, Alex, of course, my baby Alex, mm-hmm. you and Jen, of course, mm-hmm. for coming, Jason, Kaysen, Swan, Courtney, and of course, my mama. You had a huge cheering section. I really did. Mm-hmm. I, the, the squad ran deep. Right. And, and <laughs> squad goals. Squad goals. Yes. And shout out to um, 1043, both Raj, the producer, mm-hmm. the staff working there, and of course, Mike Evans. Um, right. I had they, an absolute blast. Yeah, they ran a tight ship. I love that, because usually with auditions like this, usually they're behind schedule. They started right on time. They really did. Just kept going and going on, like they had their shit on lock. So, so much love, praise. and of course we are huge fans of 104.3 The fans, so, yes. Um, any support um, and all that fun stuff. Yes. Is much support appreciated. your local radio stations, please. Amen. Yes. And I just want to say again, thank you to everyone for that opportunity. Yes. And <laughs> orders up. Yes.